Yes, that's my sink. It's thrilling, isn't it? Not really, I know. What I'm doing this morning is I'm making the homemade liquid Castile. I got the recipe from homesteading with the cases. So what you're going to need, this is a half recipe. I will put the full recipe at the bottom. But I'm just going to give you the amounts I used. I used two and a half ounces of grated Castile. This is my bar. Um, this actually cost me a dollar and eleven cents. Then I used a half a gallon of water and one tablespoon of vegetable glycerin. Well, I already had all the rest, so really all I'm out is a dollar and eleven cents. So what you do is you take the grated Castile and you put it in a pan of water and you let it melt. Let's see if this will pick this up. Yes, it does. You let it melt, let the Castile melt and on low to medium heat, and then when it's melted, you're going to, I added in one tablespoon of the glycerin. I stirred to mix it. I have let it cool down now for a while, and it thickens as it cools. And so now I'm just going to attempt to pour it in the container that I chose to use, which is a juice one. But I tell you what, I'm going to do it by the cup, I think, because I noticed how foamy this got when she was pouring it in hers. So, we're going to get some help this morning from oh, Mr. John Deere. Anyway, so I'm just going to pour this in here. Yes, I have to do this over the sink. I am, I am messy. Still a little warm. The jar is starting to fog up. Now she did the demonstrations of like the lathering and everything that you get with this and a few other options. And she's got some videos coming up on how to use it in many different ways. So check out their channel. It is really interesting over there. And, well, at least some of the suds have been cut down doing, doing it cup by cup. I'm happy about that. Oh, and essential oils. You can put whatever kind of essential oils in here that you like. I haven't put those in yet, but I'm going to. Just sent it to the to the smell is how you like it. Um, I will probably do lavender and maybe a little vetiver mixed in there. I'm not sure yet. I got to get my nose working this morning, but that's all there is to it. So, like I said, links will be in the description box below. Still got a little bit of sud in there, but all in all, not too bad. And very inexpensive, very inexpensive. Y'all have a good day. God bless you.